yellow. Hello and welcome back to Portal 2. Today, this is not my let's play. I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, air strafe and bunny hop in Portal 2. So, basically, these are going to. This is bunny hopping that I'm doing now, and you can see that it is. It is much faster than normal normal walking. So basically that's going to let you be able to run faster. And air strafing, uh, air strafing and bunny hopping kind of go together. Like if you can do one, you can do the other. Almost definitely. And air strafing is possibly the simpler one. So I'm going to start with that. Okay, so let me just show you what air strafing is. And what it can actually be useful for. So... Uh, in this chamber, this is a laser, laser chaining, if anyone's interested, uh, you can actually skip out quite a lot of the the test by getting straight up to the, the platform where the exit is by air strafing. So right now I'm just holding forward and I get, I got to about here, about where the stairs end. So that's that's quite a distance away from getting onto that platform. So now I'm going to air strafe. And you'll be able to see that I can get onto the platform and I can kill all these turrets. So yeah, that is that is air strafing. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. Basically, you want to be. Um, I'm actually going to just open up. I'm just going to press tilde to open up the console. I'm going to type sv underscore cheats. One. Then I'm going to type host underscore time scale time scale zero point five. So now we are in half normal speed. And that just lets me say everything before it's all done. So I'm going to go up through here and stand on the first plate, and I'm going to be going up, and I'm going to be pressing D A D A D A. There you go. So basically, what you're doing is you're moving the mouse like this. And as you press, as you move the mouse to the left, you're pressing the left button, right, left, right, left. So basically, when you're in the air, your mouse is doing this. It's going from left to right to left to right. And as you do that, you are going A, A. You're switching between the left and right keys on your keyboard. For me, that's I've got W, S, and D, so it's going A, D, A, D. A, D. Just like that, in the air. So if we get back on here again. So I'm going A, D, A, D, A, D. And there you go, you can get almost right over to the door. So that's a lot longer than just getting to there when you're holding forwards. And you should be able to jump all the way back. Yeah, you can. So that is how you airstrip. So I'm not, I'm not pressing forwards here, I'm just using the A and D keys. And, and move my, my mouse like this. So I'm going to just pop back into normal speed. There we go. And now I'm going to show you how to bunny hop. Bunny hopping. Bunny hopping is... When you normally say bunny hopping in a game, that's just walking forward and jumping like this. But in Portal 2, that sounded really weird, in Portal, it can be... it can mean something completely different. It can mean this, which lets you run a lot faster compared to normal walking. Bunny hopping. So you can tell that it is a lot, um, a lot faster being able to bunny hop. So, in Portal, uh, there are a few, I guess you could call them glitches in the way that you move. And one of them is, if you jump, if you have momentum, if you have forwards momentum, and you jump as soon as you hit the ground, you will keep some of that momentum. So I'm just, I'm just going to start a bit of a bunny hop here, and now I've completely let go of the keyboard. I'm just jumping when I hit the ground, and you can see that I managed to get quite a long way, just with all that, that momentum that I had stored up. So... That is how bunny hopping works. Basically, you, you use air strafing which I showed you earlier, to gain momentum while you're in the air. And then the instant that you hit the ground, 
you jump and you keep most of that momentum and then you can air strafe again and gain a bit more. So there's something that you're going to need to be that you're going to need to do before you can bunny up, and that is um, because whenever you hit the ground, you have to jump immediately. You need to have jump. Uh, well, there's a couple of ways you can do this, really, I guess. If you've got a um, a macro key like on your keyboard or or on your mouse or something, then you'll be able to assign that so that it will it will spam spacebar when you when you activate it. But there's a, a much easier way to do this, and that is by opening the console. You might actually have to enable it first. So if you go into options, keyboard and mouse, and then here at the bottom, allow developer con console, you want that on to be uh, enabled. Now if you return to game, and now if you press tilde, that's the key that is to the left of the one, if your keyboard is anything like mine is, and now you want to type bind space m wheel up space plus sign and then jump there you go if it doesn't give you a message after that then it's worked and now you want to do the same for bind m wheel down space plus jump there you go so now you jump with your mouse wheel so every time that you scroll your mouse wheel you're going to be spamming jump which is great now you can you can jump as soon as you hit the ground so uh, if you you can you can try this actually once you've done that if you just walk forwards normally and then start jumping you should keep some of that momentum if you can't do that then you're not going to be able to bunny hop okay so bunny hopping bunny hopping is pretty much air strafing except you have to jump between each strafe so uh, one of the easiest ways to to do this is to start by just going around in a circle. So um, you're not going to be going in a straight line. That's because you're going to be going in a circle. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for this. Uh, so if you, uh, right now, I'm just holding the down the A key. I'm turning my mouse around to the left, and I am jumping every time I hit the ground. And you can see already that I'm going much faster than normal walking speed. So that is um, that is basically bunny hopping. What you just did there was half a bunny hop. And that can allow you to go around in circles. Which isn't that useful. But you can do the, the, these circles left and right. So you can you can do a uh, clockwise circle and an anti-clockwise circle. Which means that if you alternate between them, then you can go forwards very fast. And that is basically what you have to do to be able to bunny hop. So you are you you are A D left, right, left, right, left, and then that that air strafing in between each jump is gaining you a little bit of speed. And then you you move the scroll wheel when you hit the ground, so you jump as soon as you hit the ground, and you keep that speed, and then you can strafe again and gain a little bit more speed. So yeah, that is how bunny hopping works. And in this chamber, laser training if you're interested, uh, there are actually a couple of ways that you can use bunny hopping and air strafing to your advantage. One of them I've already showed you. You can jump straight to the exit. And the other is that if you, if you don't miss, <laughs> if you bunny hop and then air strafe off this platform here, or you might just be able to do it just with a simple air strafe then yeah you can you can grab this cube off there and I can skip out part of the test okay so that was a bunny hopping and air strafing tutorial I am gonna do another episode that is going to show you wall strafing and speed wall strafing which I guess you could say are a lot lot easier than than bunny hopping and yeah if you have any have any questions or you just can't work out how to bunny hop then leave a comment and I'll try to answer any questions that anyone has got. Okay so I'll see you next time.